having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. We are out here in Michigan with Life With Ty and Troy about to go on the Rally Kings Rally, but before that, we've got some fun shenanigans planned. Let's roll. Well, good morning, Mr. Ty. For those that are new to the channel, this is Ty. He's got a sick E46 M3 that he used to use as a drift car. Look at this freaking hydro. Nice. Now he just bought an E36 so he can go full out, no compromises on that. Keep this a little clean because, well, it's a pretty rare color and, well, it's a manual too. This is actually so sick. Look how well this is integrated. Had an incredible time yesterday with Bosch. It's funny, I come all the way out to Michigan. I haven't been to a pool in a long time, even though I have one. It's 15 degrees warmer here than it is in California. The sun is beautiful, so I just got a bathing suit from Meyer, and the only bathing suit they had literally just has sausages all over it. Sick. It's a new style. But... <laughs> I guess this is how we transport things in Michigan. <laughs> This is their dog, Bentley. Ooh, ooh. What's up, Bentley? Come here. Come here, buddy. This is literally the most unnecessary thing I've ever seen, but I like it. That being said, this one does not have 590 horsepower and it's not all electric. People were wondering why I love Michigan so much. Look at this place, guys. Oh yeah, and these are floatable golf balls. Feels so good to be back here with friends. I am so pumped for this week, guys. Tomorrow, Ty is gonna go drifting, and I think we're gonna take the E46 and the E36 out that he just got and learn how to drift some more. Ty's mom's cooking, and it's your boy, mm, baby. It's your boy, mm, baby. For you OG subscribers out there, you remember Matt. We've done some funny videos together. That's me. It's been a good day so far. My friend just took delivery of a new McLaren 650S today, and he's gonna take it on, what are you doing? And he's gonna take it on the rally this Friday, so we're gonna have to go pick that up, check it out. All right, Troy just came back. Odds that I eat this right now. He, this is Carolina oh, Reaper. <laughs> Last time I did this on camera, I ate like a scorpion pepper with Alejandro, and I. I couldn't drive home. That's how messed up Dude, I was. Put some on your hand and lick it. I dare you. You're saying it's that hot? Try like it. that little bit. Just try a little bit first. Oh, you can't put the gravy oh, in it. Oh, come on. You lick your finger. It doesn't taste like anything. Because you put gravy in it. Peppers are still sitting there. No, what do you mean you didn't get it? It's still eating it. There, that's it. Ah, oh, there. It's, it's hot, dude. Is you not feeling it? You're not getting any of it? <laughs> hot. <laughs> the roof of my mouth hurts. That doesn't make any sense. It burns, dude. Like it'll, it'll burn. burn. Your tongue probably does the roof of your mouth. Don't lick your lips. You okay? That's really hot. <laughs> it's, like, it's really hot, dude. <laughs> All right, we're having a heated know. debate right now. I haven't I seen know. it yet, but what do you guys think about Deadpool 2? Super good. Super yes. good? Yes. You didn't like it? I liked it. It was good. I still like the first one. The first one was amazing. He's a hater. I gotta go He's see the first one. Hater, 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 unsubscribe. So check this bad boy out. This is Ty's new E36. Well, used, but new to him, that we are going to be drifting tomorrow. We've got a new Camaro SS with catless headers. <laughs> yep. That's how I expected it to sound. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry, Bentley, that's loud. So this is the new drift mobile, five-speed manual. He's got the racing seat that he had in his M3, but swapped them out with the OEM ones. And we got two different sets of wheels with $60 piece tires on the back. What are you guys doing? He's correcting me. There's matching wheels in the trunk. There we go. Those are at 70 PSI right now. It'll probably be 85 tomorrow, so we need them to spin. <laughs> 18s, this car's got 140 horsepower. The crazy part is I didn't realize until I did that drift event, the actual drift cars run at like 10 to 20 PSI. But when you've got 150 horsepower, you need to run it at 80 PSI. Look at that, it's the Corella DeVille limo. <laughs> Only in Michigan, Jesus. Damn, look at that exhaust though. I actually kind of like that wrap. Picking up Troy's full bolt on GTR. He just got an oil change and the dip fluid change. So he's all set up for the rally. This thing is an absolute beast. I love the color shift wrap. Might be riding in this a tiny bit on the rally. Let's roll. Look at that exhaust. I love the blue tips. 
For those of you who have never seen a GTR or been in it, this is how the door handle operates, kind of the reverse of the Huracan. And this is just a carbon fiber floorboard. Is that, that's not stock, is it? No, no. Okay, I was Don't, gonna dude, say. These Damn, came dude. with the car and I looked these up and these are like 1800 bucks. Yeah, they look really expensive. So, so what does a full bolt-on conversion for this, like four grand or? Uh, about four to six, all depending on what parts you go with. Uh, it's injectors, tuning obviously. Um, you have to have a tuner. Uh, like I'm on Ecotech, people do Cobb as well. Yeah. Uh, full exhaust, down pipes, and, and then you run on E85. And E85, so flex fuel kit as well. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, I make 620 to the wheels, 600 torque, and it's a ton of fun. That's a lot of power. So, That's a lot of power. And what does a 2009 or 10 GTR run? Uh, 40 to 60? Yeah, 40 to 60. So depending on miles and, you know, obviously condition and everything. A lot of them for sale right now around 50, 55. Damn. So you can pick them up. I mean, they're they're cheap and they're fast. Yeah, so if you buy a clean one for 50 or 55 and then put five grand into it for 60 grand, you got a car that can run with a stock Huracan. These things are no joke. It's so sick the amount of control you have with a modified GTR. The fact that we just like did a rolling launch and you can choose what map you want to be on, choose what RPM to launch at. Can you change the launch control RPM too? I can, yep. yeah. that's freaking nuts. Yeah. And the torque split, right? Yes. That's yeah. nuts. Oh, it smells like straight E85 in here. I love it. Oh, we got a potential candidate in a C6. I don't think he knows what he's in for. Oh, uh, Hellcat! No flames. Wait. Wait. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, here he comes! He definitely wants to play. Damn, he just got off the freeway, and of course I missed that, but it was Pro Charge. It sounded ridiculous. So, yeah, I thought we were gonna win, but a Pro Charge Z06 probably would have walked us. Yeah, that's some pretty good fuel economy right there. Oh my god, that's E85 right there, three and a half miles per gallon. Oh, now we're up to five. E85 is definitely super sick, and you get a lot more power, but you can't deny that fuel economy is garbage, oh, right? Like, absolutely, absolutely garbage. Horrible. And finding E85 stations in Michigan can be a little bit challenging. I have half a tank right now and only 68 miles range. <laughs> Listen to this, guys, this is ridiculous. I do miss that about the Gallardo, the Huracan does not shoot. So we do have one casualty from all those flames. It literally blew this mesh piece out of his rear diffuser. Gone. That's awesome. I have really always wanted a GTR. These things are just stupid fun. Oh, there we go. If and when the new generation GTR comes out, it is going to be absolutely epic. Even the current generation one, I know it's been out for a while, and I actually did a full review on a 2017, the refreshed GTR, which I lost all of the footage of. It was on this awesome track day. So unfortunately there, I'll give you a little overview on that car. It felt a lot smoother ride-wise, the steering was nicer, the shifts were quicker, the interior was definitely improved. I mean, when that car came out in 2009 and was new for $70,000, the performance that it offered was unbelievable. Now we've got the Nismo GTR that costs the better part of 180 grand, so it's getting pushed up sky high, but all cars are getting more expensive as well. I gotta show you guys this thing over here. Check this out. So this is actually my driving simulator that I left in Michigan for these guys, predominantly because, well, I don't really know how to get it home. So this is a serious question for you guys. If anyone knows the best way to ship an item like this, leave a comment in the comment section below. I've heard great shipping. Obviously, I'm gonna take it apart, but even if I ship in a ton of different boxes, it seems like it costs the better part of $1,000 to just get this thing to California. So this is a full Fanatec racing simulator. 
Sparco seat. This is actually a legitimate seat for a car. Then we've got these beautifully damped pedals. They're adjustable. This awesome steering wheel. The actuation of the paddles is better than most actual cars. Like that feels so nice and makes such a satisfying click. This motor in here changes depending upon what car you're driving, how difficult it is to turn the steering wheel. And then we actually have a seven speed manual transmission with a clutch pedal if you don't want to use the paddle. So yeah, this thing is absolutely sick. I used to play Forza 6 on it. Now they got Forza 7. Although I've been told by a bunch of you guys that it's kind of a waste of this machine playing those games. I should get a PC and play Assetto Corsa, which is much, much more realistic. Could be something to think about. Maybe even Twitch stream some racing games in that. Well guys, tomorrow we are heading Headed off to the drift track and the day after that is the start of Rally Kings Rally. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. We didn't get to see Gary's car just yet, but don't you worry. It will be awesome and we'll get a closer look at it on the rally. I look forward to seeing you next video. Bye.